So yeah, here here you have uh, the gambits, the avalanche, as I said. A subtle get aggressive gambit. A subtle get aggressive gambit. It was the first of the triple gambits developed in the early 80s-90s. The avalanche is a relentless and devastating offensive maneuver which requires bravado, bordering on recklessness to execute. So as we see here, this is a really aggressive combination. <laughs> and you know, before the 80-90s, no one had discovered the triple gambits. Uh, and yeah, the bureaucrat. Uh, the that's yeah, that's the triple paper. Formerly known as confetti, the deadpan delivery on three successive papers is the ultimate in passive aggressive play. So, I guess that's kind of like the puff of rock paper scissor. Uh, for some sad reason, we don't get any backstory of when this was discovered, when it revolutionized the game. But anyway, oh the crescendo, paper rock. No, paper is scissor rock. The slow building nature of this gambit makes it a very elegant opening series. The devastating rock is the cube de grace that gives the gambit its name. Yeah, I can totally see the slow building. You start off passive, and then you go like pretty sneaky with the scissors, and then you go with the fucking rock. So, it's like... You give them the confidence that you're gonna be passive, but then you go more and more aggressive over time. Crazy, crazy. Uh, oh, this, this name, I have no fucking clue how to pronounce it. Denoment. Okay, so yeah, this is the opposite of the one before. The Denoment is the mirror of the crescendo and uses a cooling down approach. When used in tandem with the crescendo, the result is often a baffled opponent. Yeah, when this combination is played, like, yeah, your opponent is clearly baffled. Uh, oh, Fistful of Dollars. I, I love this one. Uh, a rock into two papers. This move took the 1967 Rock, Paper, Scissor World Championships by surprise and is arguably still one of the great surprise offensive moves. The rapid switch from offensive to defensive play can force an opponent into a vulnerable spot. <laughs> like, how the fuck, who the fuck created this fucking website? Like, I can't take this seriously, like... But yeah, Fistful of Dollars, that's one of my favorites. This introduction, like, it took the world championship by surprise, like... This is too good. This is too good. Uh, anyway, let's move on to the paper dolls. A paper into two scissors. The complexity of this series is belied by its apparent simplicity. Paper levels the playing field and is followed by a couple of quick and sneaky scissors, which make it an extremely effective gambit against the unwary. Yeah, no, I, I totally, totally agree with this analyze. It's really effective if you're unwary. Uh, but if you are wary, apparently this uh, combination doesn't work at all. Uh, and it is a really complex combination. I can't believe this wasn't discovered before. Uh, but yeah, keep the paper dolls in mind. Uh, the scissor sandwich. Paper, scissor, paper, damn. An invasive and devious gambit. While not the most offensive of the gambits, its main purpose is to unsettle the opponent through use of the concealed scissors. What the fuck are they talking about? What is this? Dude, this is legit. They actually have YouTube videos from like 10 years ago or more with $50,000 in Las Vegas. You know Millie made it to Mandalay Bay in 2016? These guys were a year ahead of us. And the commentary is actually like so fucking funny as well. Like, I think it was one guy, he, he, he was uh, 
he was beating another guy or a girl with a, a rock against uh, a scissor and they were like, oh, this is unbelievable. I can't believe my eyes. This guy, he's gonna like ride himself into like one of the greatest of the game's history. And when me, Android, Rebaz, and Wizzy was watching this, Wizzy was like coming with comments and he was like, yeah, I can't believe my eyes. And the thing is, when Wizzy said that, we just all started laughing. It was so funny. You kind of had to be there. Anyway, the last gambit is the toolbox. Oh, the triple scissor. Yeah, obviously, since we had the triple rock and triple paper before. Effective use of the toolbox requires steady hands and steely nerves. Given the pure life popularity of rock, this gambit is not suggested for use against beginners. Alright, so that, that makes sense. You need steely nerves because you never know when people go to auto, auto pilot and goes for goes for the rock, right? So yeah, you clearly need steady hands and steely nerves. Uh, so according to this site, this might be the hardest play in rock, paper, scissor history. I would love to see more backstory behind this combo. Like, the guy that invented and pulled this combo off in tournaments, he fucking deserves a million dollars. That's a fucking legend. But he's like a legend in the shadows. Since we can't even read about the person that invented it. And nothing can stop the avalanche. <laughs> yeah, no, the avalanche, uh, that's a crazy combination. Europe actually pulled off the Avalanche in uh, crew battles at uh, Big House. We played with Professor Pro as our first one, and I think it was uh, I think it was uh, Prof or Leffen that was like, "Yeah, we go with the Avalanche, ride or die." So we played Prof the first game every crew battle. So yeah, Europe tried to pull off the Avalanche, two successful ones, but the last one it failed sadly. We were. If we go back to uh, the Avalanche. Uh, yeah, it's a rentless and devastating offensive maneuver. But I guess. Yeah, we were not rentless and devastating offensive maneuver enough. We didn't have that in us. Almost, but not quite. Yeah, no, Silvadin, didn't you see this website? Rock, paper, scissor, obviously, is its only skill. You need to practice the combos. You need to practice the execution to pull off three scissors. Uh, you also need uh, nerves of steel to pull it off. And, uh, yeah, Fistful of Dollars. I still love the description of this one that he took the 1967 Rock, Paper, Scissor World Championships by surprise. <laughs> Can you imagine that when someone pull off the fistful of dollars and the crowd goes crazy, they're like, oh, I have never seen this combination before. <laughs> like, it's revolutionized. Like, imagine when people invented, like, Wave Dash or something in Melee. That's nothing to the fistful of dollars. Yeah, I know, this, this is this is crazy, guys. I guess Hax was right. It all comes down to rock, paper, scissors. I should stop playing Melee and just learn more about this. I think this website could, uh, could educate me a bit more. So, yeah, we need to do that.